What's up? This is Lucid. My name is Janice. And my name is Juliet. So, um, what does Lucid stand for? Okay, well, Lucid is derived from the term Lucid Dreaming. And a Lucid Dream means that you can control your own dream. Because you realize that you're dreaming. Yeah. And that's how we view, like, you know, goals in life. It's like a mental state, a realization that you can have whatever yeah. you want to have. It's all in the mind, you know. So, um, like, describe your style. We call it street soul. Mm -hmm. So it's a mix of hip-hop, R&B, and soul. So where does the street come in, though? The street represents like R&B, hip-hop, hip -hop, more urban okay. <clears throat> type of flavor. And the soul is just... From the, the heart. Soul. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what about your personal styles? Um, my personal style is definitely more like sporty, athletic. Yep. And my personal style is, I think, more earthy, earthy slash urban, as you can see. Okay. So, um, how spicy do you like your food? Not at all. I hate spicy food. Well, I don't hate it, but Water. I can't take it. Like, my eyes start watering, nose gets red, like Rudolph. But what do you consider spicy, spicy, though? It's just for going, you know, through my fantastic story. I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. If you could transport yourself back like a time machine. Which era would you go to and why? 90s. That was fast. But I agree though. I agree. Definitely the 90s. The Good. music was awesome. Great fashion. Good. Yeah, you know. Streets want to know. What's your dream collaboration? Mm hmm. Dream collaboration. I think I have a list. Okay, go down the list. Okay, I would say um, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Good choice. The dream and um, mine. Is, mine is Andre. <coughs> wow, Mr. Tree Stacks, wow though. I think he's just in a league of his own. He's different, and I love his style. Okay, okay. So, what are we working on right now? And we meaning y'all. Well, we've been working on our first album, Poison Ponds. It's in the final stages. It should be done completely by the beginning of next year. All right. What's the highlight of your career? The highlight of our career? Mm, I think that was last summer because we were in Atlanta and we uh, started to work with Mr. DJ and Jeff B. And we actually recorded a song in St. Conia studio, so that was pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely a highlight. Yeah. It's a little thing, you know, but it, yeah, it means a lot. It meant a lot. What's your favorite place on earth? I don't have one specific place that I love the most. I mean, oh. oh and what about you, Jenna? Um, I don't have a specific place either. I'm happy wherever there's a beach and sun. Oh, every no. day, no? Where'd Not every day, but a favorite place, like oh, okay. some place just that you like could always go back, go to. You know, okay, return okay. To. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really a beach. Mm, nice ocean. Exactly. Way. Palm trees, sun, coconuts, blue skies, cut. cut it. What's your favorite app, like your favorite mobile app? Mm, my favorite mobile app is definitely WhatsApp. Same here. Yeah, it's just easy, free, you know, international. Yep, you should get it too. Already got it. Oh, cool. Next question. Mm -hmm. If you could bring like three items to a deserted island, what would they be? Oh, man. First. Is it like forever or are you staying at the desert? Nah, you're just forever? gonna stay there till a cruise ship comes by and picks your ass up. So, limited. Food, of course. Absolutely food, like <laughs> nice food, apple pies and all of that. Yeah, definitely. Um, some music. Yeah. Some music, definitely music. What else? Music, food, and... I would have to bring a comb. Water? What? I said a comb because this hair... Oh, well, okay. So, um, yeah, food, comb. And music. And music. That's hey, what you ask? Okay, so, so, so that's your list. What's your list? Um, what will I bring? What will I bring? I have no idea. Um, bikini? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, talking about like video games, like, do y'all play video games? Uh-uh. I tried. 
words of advice to anyone wanting to fill your shoes? Oh, yeah, we got yeah. a lot. Yeah, listen closely. Okay, you start with the first one. First one is surround yourself with people that are on the same level of motivation, Pos and pace, and positivity. And positivity because, because you don't want to work with negative people. That sucks, and it's not gonna help you at all. It's gonna cost you time and energy. Yeah, as you can tell. Yeah, There's still a lot of <laughs> yeah, frustration is there. A lot of frustration, yeah. emotion, you know. Yeah. So yeah, that's not that's fun. one. Good Second team. one, believe in yourself. Really cliche, but it's true. Third one, work hard. Work hard and focus. Stay focused. Okay. All right. So this was our lucid interview. Thank you for watching. Shout out to Fiona Bloom. Yeah. And see you next time. Ciao.